I realized when I sat down to reflect on the last year, this is really the first year in my career where I've had fun like 100% of the time. You know, not that it's been easy. Lots of crazy ha- things happened in the world, lots of changes in my personal life. So things weren't always easy, but it was really fun. And never did I find myself dreading what I was going to need to do for work that day or work that week. And that's a huge win. It's a testament to the culture that you and Carrie have created, Ezra, and just understanding that the more fun that we have, the better things go. <laughs> you know, This isn't just a woo-woo piece of advice. It's like, if you are having fun, everything flows so much easier. Like I'm able to create products so much easier. I'm able to, you know, connect with you guys. It's just a whole different ball game. So for me, that's been everything, just working, especially with you two, people that I love, that I love talking to. It just keeps things feeling abundant. I feel like I can ride the waves and, you know, it is passed down to the rest of the company. So that's my biggest win. <laughs> my grandma is from Bratislava, Czechoslovakia, and she took a course at this commune where I grew up where they were talking about the concept of fun mm-hmm. and they were talking about you should show up and have fun and this and that. And at the end of the course, she had a question and the question like, went like this. She raised her hand and she said, what is this fun? <laughs> and, well, and you know, honestly, it's True. a really fair question because her life was True. hard. You know, she lived through the Holocaust. Her all of her her sisters and parents died. She got shipped off to America. I mean, she she just like, what is this fun? Is a fair question. So, what does that even mean? Have fun. Well, we had this lady come to us over at Zipify who we just made a job offer to, and she accepted it. She's going to help us um, do f- phone sales for enterprise level merchants who are using our software apps. And she's like, yeah, I'm working at this company and I'm working like 60, 70 hours a week and it's super miserable and it's all about how much money can we make and it's like nobody's nice and it's like I'm I'm burnt out. Cutthroat. She, she's working for us for less money because the work experience is going to be more fun. So what does that actually mean? Well, first, it's a responsibility that you, the person showing up to the job has, which is – you know, we say, hey, listen, we want to make sure your, your work life is comfortable. You've got somewhere that you can sit down and where you got a quiet space and that we're never going to ask you to work over 40 hours a week and that, you know, you're going to have paid vacation and sick leave and health care. And like, you know, you're going to have a clear set of roadmaps of what to do and accountability and all that good stuff. And everybody's going to be nice in their communication, hashtag team loving communication skills. So you're going to have like from the, on our side, we're going to be doing everything we can to ensure that you're enjoying your work and you can tell us ways in which you could be enjoying your work more. You can give us feedback, but from your side, it's like sleep well, eat well, show up with a positive attitude, take care of yourself outside of work. So you can actually show up present. So like fun is contributed on both sides. It's you, the employee or team member showing up full, which is like rested, enthusiastic, present. And then it's the company showing up and doing its job of making sure you know what to do and that people are being nice and that, you know, there's a jovial spirit. Like, so there's actually, you know, there's two sides to it. There's the company Mm -hmm. side and the team member side, and both people have to contribute to achieve that fun. I think a lot of this too is just how does it feel to work at this place? You know, kind of what you said earlier and anyone that's worked for someone else, you know how you feel about working at XYZ job. And I think a lot of this, I love that you said it's two-sided And it's also just as a leadership team, that's one of our most important jobs, I think. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. And I definitely feel like connected to the team in such a way that I feel like everyone wants to, you know, pick up the shovel and do their fair share. And there's not, you're you're right, there's still our hard conversations, but there's never any like, I need to get out behind and and push, right? The thing moves forward on its own because Mm -hmm. people feel like they're being uh, listened to and heard. And that was I'm jumping all over the map on my notes, but the biggest perspective shift that I had actually, which I think just dovetails really well, is that the biggest opportunity for growth is not bringing in experts, right? That's not what it is. Not that you and I don't bring stuff to the table, but it's finding ways to empower employees. And I think this was the big challenge for you, Ezra, as you just were divided amongst three businesses. And so it was hard to spend time sitting down. But I, my favorite thing that I've been doing in the last six months, right? I didn't start this when we first kicked it off, is doing a a bi-monthly meeting with each different department so that I have a chance to get direct feedback, find out what problems are, you know, slowing people down, find out where people feel like they're being overworked or pulled in too many directions. 
And it's so nice to have those conversations because they're not just a chance for people to air their grievances, but they're a chance for us to get super uh, aligned. And I feel just over the time of doing those meetings, I feel more connected to uh, everyone on our team. I feel like everyone is bringing new ideas to the table, which is my favorite thing in the world, right? I want to be someone that says I have too many great ideas to, you know, get going on because everybody has these amazing strategies for how to improve the part of the puzzle that they're working on and then figuring out how to empower people to own that, right? To have them go out every month, pull numbers for your section of the business, and then you're going to put a report together talking about what opportunities you see and what risks you see through that. And I think that I've really been feeling like the feedback I'm getting on that is very positive and people seem jazzed up about it and it has directly correlated with people's level of excitement about having these meetings, right? It's not just the come on and listen to John talk for (laughs) 30 minutes or 60 minutes. It's like, no, I have three or four ideas that I want to talk through that I can figure out how we can bring this to the table and make something better. So that's definitely a great lesson. And I think it fits so well into the culture here.